like to add that I'm just an ordinary woman. I work a job three days a week. I have no children, but I have an ordinary life. I don't do anything but grocery shop, <laughs> watch TV and have fun with my friends. But the first time I competed, I thought that I would be nervous. And actually when I finally was on the inside looking out, I was more amazed at I got to eat every two hours. I was eating yams every two hours. I'm like, candy, uh, rice cakes? You, you, you mean I get to pile the peanut butter on there? So I was more excited about that that I didn't even have time to be nervous going on stage. I got to make, meet great ladies, you know, make new friends. And it was like, you know, I had another, uh, what do you call it, an alter ego when those lights came on. I turned into another person, but I was encouraging you. I was encouraging to a lot of the females backstage because here I am. It's my first show. I'm in the mirror practicing and the girls are like, oh my God, I need to, I need to work on my posing like you. And they just don't know. I had a problem with, with the feet. <laughs> Summer was always like, you got to get those feet, keep those feet turned out. But I was so excited, and not to mention, I took fifth, top five in my class, woo -woo. <laughs> and I wasn't even expecting it. I just went to learn how to be a good sport, to learn how to lose as well as win. You have to learn, I mean, you're a winner just by stepping up there. It takes a lot of nerve to step out on that stage and, you know, in front of hundreds of people and, you know, I had in my mind that my body would look a certain way. And actually, I would prefer it to be not at its peak level so I can see my growth, you know, and that's what competing is about, you know, getting better each time you compete and seeing your gains. I love it.